All right, so we're on Rochdale Road. I was on the bus to Rochdale. There's been a murder in Rochers, Sandbrook Park. But, uh, I'll, are Ian Rankin's murder? The lady knows, she's got good taste. So anyway, um, oh, good stuff. She, uh, she's from the, from the motherland, good stuff. So I see the blue sirens. I see the action. It's like, I'm like a magpie to like some silver cutlery. I've got to come and have a look, and I'm walking alongside an epic ginger gentleman. Look at that. Have you got Scottish in you as well? No, no. No, probably. Not Irish. Irish, look at that. Who doesn't like a redhead? So, there's a big crowd across the road. They're all having a bit of a, oh shit, it helps if I focus. Hello, what have I missed? Hey, right. All right, everyone relax. I'm here, I'm here, guys. Everyone, re relax, I'm here, relax. You all right, mate? Right, let's just get some shots. All right, the street's blocked off. What's this? We're on Beach Mount. This is the street with that little cheap hotel at the bottom, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, there's that cheap hotel. Yeah, I love a picture of me and you, yeah? Yeah, all right. Look at this, look You're at that. Beach fella. <laughs> Thanks, man. Look at that, we do uh, it live. Uh, do you know why you were paid off? I was on, on the way to Rochdale, there's been a murder. Fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, so they've got the blue forensic tent out. But then I saw this from the road. Well, I was you doing getting a 17 around? I was around on there. that bus right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Someone's been pulled over, though, for what's happening. All right, yeah. someone's been pulled over. Two women, two women, Charlie. I see, oh. Okay? All good, mate, all good. I won't get too close, but uh, it's a balance between getting good sh shots and not upsetting you guys. Don't worry about that. All right. Thanks, man. Cheers. So uh, this here, is, I think, is uh, Volkswagen Golf 21 Reg. The boot's open. There's a few bags in the boot. There's a lady in, in a dressing gown. Very fetching Donald Duck. Yeah, yeah, no worries. See, I told you I'd get told off, but it's okay. No, I understand, but I gotta get good shots as well. So it's a balance, it's a balance. Okay, now. So uh, look at that, I can't even get to Rochdale. There's incidents along Rochdale Road. Now, uh, seeing as the ladies in the pink Daisy Duck dressing gown, I'd say she's a high-level heroin dealer. She's transporting a lot of heroin in her boot. Allegedly, don't sue me, lady. And uh, the police have had some intel. The undercover 13 Reg Audi A4 has uh, pulled someone over, but seeing as there's the back of a van with a cage, someone is definitely getting arrested. So, I know as a fact, I'm gonna go have a look now. There's a cheap hotel down there. How do I know? I've stayed in it. Worst night of my life. But I'm going to go and have a look at that for a sec. Now imagine you've got absolutely nothing to do with this crime and uh, you're, you're, you're stuck. There is no way out. Not even around the outside because of the pole. The pole is in the way, so... Frustrating. Hi mate, do you know what's happened? No, they just pulled a woman over or something. No, no, they've arrested him. He's in the back of the car. Oh, she's been arrested? No, he he, okay, thank you mate. So a bit of eyewitnesses, there's a man who's been arrested in the back of the car. He is in the back of the Audi A4, I see him now. Young guy, brown hair, zoomer haircut, you know when they got the little curly hair, looks like a perm. <laughs> He's uh, early 20s in the back of the car. So, we'll do it live. I don't think it's got anything to do with a cheap hotel that used to be down here. I'm gonna check it out. One sec, I'll cut, cut the video for now. Oh. Me, me, Hen, Hendham House, yeah, Hendham House Hotel. And uh, as they say, it's not the nicest uh, part of Manchester. We're in basically Harper Hay, where I, not long ago, a few weeks back, filmed a front door that had a shotgun blast and all the small pellet holes and the gunpowder burn of the shotgun blast. Anyway, um, as is always the way, people that are involved in this scene will watch this footage and they'll get super excited and angry about me throwing jokes about heroin blocks and stuff. 
It's a joke. It's free speech. We fought world wars to be able to talk like this. Chill out. Don't sue me. Do a privacy complaint against YouTube if you've got an issue with the video. What's this Audi got to do then? That's an undercover police car, the Audi A4. See the blue lights in the front of it? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she going to sell this to Manchester YouTube News? Nah, I'll put it on my own YouTube channel. What's that? Uh, just Charlie Veach, my name, I get. Charlie Veach. Oh, we worked together a long time ago. You yeah. You mess up people at Debenhams. That's Wait, me, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing, guys? You all right? I'm with you, man. <laughs> that is me. How's it going, Charlie? Most, good. Yeah, most people only watch for the crackheads, but I'm trying to branch out a bit and do a bit more journalism and oh, yeah. other things. Well, I'm, yeah. yeah. If you're not growing, you're not improving, are you? That's the thing. Yeah, funny, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, nice chat with the two guys. One of them works security, or did work security in Debenhams, remembered me from the good old days. Anyway, pink is the color for Rochdale Road. And here's the cop moving, the suspect's vehicle. Guy looked far too young to be driving a 21 Reg Volkswagen Golf. Oh no, it's the news. Uh, if we're in public, there's no right to privacy. It's the news. The news has its views. There they go. Oh wait, there's another one. I'm just the newsman, ignore me. Can I ask you something off camera? Off camera, yeah, one sec. All right, very nice chat with a cop off camera. He asked, and uh, I obliged. And uh, he was uh, just concerned with uh, not making people feel bad or humiliated. And we had a good chat about public photography, basically. Anyway, let's get to Rochdale. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 1.23 p.m. We're here in Rochdale bus station. We're gonna have a look around Rochdale and the reason what prompted me, the reason I was prompted to get to Rochdale was there's been a murder in Sandbrook Park in the southwest of the city here. Now, I've uh, researched it online. It's literally one blue forensic tent with a blocked off path. But uh, this good, that was a good burp. That was a good one. <laughs> Wish my camera picked it up, but it won't. <laughs> anyway, that was a fantastic burp. Um, there's good coverage in the Manchester Evening News, but today we're going to cover Rochoid, the cockroach, the, the Rochie. Well, Rochdale tram stop is called Rochdale Town Centre and it is the end of the line. One stop over the line. And uh, yeah, it's all ogre. Now, whatever that is, I don't know, but it's new. It's got flags. Might be fun. Let's go and have a look. So, Rochdale is twinned with Lviv, Lviv in Ukraine, Slava Ukraini, and uh, what's interesting about Lviv, it, uh, it's uh, the most western, uh, um, ge geographically, the most western city in the Ukraine. It's where all the foreign fighters come across the border from Poland, and uh, if you remember at the start of the uh, three-day special military operation to denazify Ukraine, <laughs> Uh, Vladimir Putin did fire a few cruise missiles into the training facilities in Lviv to try and discourage all the uh, French Foreign Legion type mercenaries. I know they're not mercenaries, they're officially French government, but you know what I mean. Uh, mercenaries of various countries coming to join the International Legion of Ukraine. Well, whatever it is here, it's called Number One Riverside and uh, in terms of the architecture, it's your standard uh, cubist, um, bluey, white glass with, uh, unfortunately, cladding. It's pa paneling, everyone's least favorite decoration for a high-rise building. Plastic cladding. And whether it's fireproof or not, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, shit. There's a big shopping mall right here. Look. H&M. Okay. Hello, mate. How's it going? How's about yourself? Very well, thank you. Just uh, doing, doing my shots. Having a browse. Having you? a browse. <laughs> but there's been a murder in uh, Sandbrook Park. That's why the helicopter's down there. I'll be down there now with that. 
yeah, it's a bit of a walk for just one little blue tent. So <laughs> I've told I've told my viewers that it's a bit far out. They can see it in the MEN. All right, right. See you in the MEN. <laughs> Have a good advice. Thanks, mate. Thanks. See you later. So we are inside the wonderful Rochdale Town Hall. No, no. Uh, council, council offices. It wasn't here five years ago when I was last year. Was it? I just missed yeah, it. Ten years. Ten years. Well, I, I was cut. I've said it all wrong. Very, very friendly inside the. Uh, what did he say? It was council building. Now they are scared. Anyway, I'll lose the accent. Uh, they've got some uh, riverside defence thing here, but uh, I think it needs more sandbags. That doesn't look uh, waterproof. It looks a bit non-waterproof. I'm trying to get less wind noise. I've, I'm cupping my balls. No, I'm cupping my microphone. But uh, this is interesting. It goes all the way around. I'm going to join it a bit further up. We're at the back of the Rochdale Council building and I uh, didn't notice it five years ago when I was last properly in Rochdale. It's Rochdale Borough Council number one Riverside. And now, my viewers will probably know, uh, is this like a it says, what I can see, it's got Mitsubishi Electric, Hydronics, and IT cooling systems. But uh, I think in this big box here, they'd have a generator. You know, because, uh, you know, council services are essential in an uh, electromagnetic pulse attack by the Russians. They might... <laughs> this would all be fried. Anyway, Klima Veneta, it says, Mitsubishi. And uh, I think uh, they're way too friendly around here. We're going to have to go around and... Uh, not that that's a bad thing. It's a good thing. They've passed the audit. We'll, uh, we'll go and do something else. And even though it's a cold 15 degrees Celsius, I've got a jumper on. Can you believe it? At least in this little patch from Rochdale City Council it is a bit summery, a bit bright, a bit nice. And, uh, and uh, nothing. That's it. It's just flowers. Okay, we're in the Rochdale Riverside development. We've just come from the council building. And uh, my first comment is, I was like, hold on a sec, am I in Berry? I think they've used the same architect to do this kind of concrete, grey, modernist uh, thing like this. I'm getting Berry vibes. Berry, 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 Berry vibes. Oh, hi. Yeah, of course. I'm taking photos of um, Just Rochdale general. Town Centre. Okay, mate. No worries. Just as long as you don't go in any of the shops, it's okay. Are you guys cops? No, no, no. Just no. All oh, right. No, no. I'm definitely yeah. not a terrorist. Definitely. <laughs> no, that's Salah, no, 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 I want to go and put a bag down there to to to. Then I go and. As long as it's not in the shops, mate. That's fine. What do you mean, like, I can't film into the shops? Yeah, as in, like, you can't go in the shops and take photos in there. What, what if I walk in, take a photo, but buy something as I'm taking a photo? <laughs> I'm only joking, man. Thanks, man. No, all the no, best to you guys. Good. Have a Cheers, good day. Boss. Name's Charlie Veach. Check me out on YouTube. I do crazy videos all around Manchester. Yeah, man. Thanks, no man. Um, I'd say sectioning crazy. Yeah. <laughs> See you, guys. See you. Friendly enough security. Can't complain. So as long as I don't go into the shops filming, I'll be all right, he says. <laughs> okay. The sweet dulcet tones of a helicopter, a chopper above Rochdale Town Centre. We'll go find out why. It might be because of that murder in Sandy Sandbrook Park. But uh, here's a warehouse weather spoons with a fine Art Deco font. And, uh, oh, established 1830, we're in the Bailey Street Quarter. Bailey Street Quarter, it looks very artistic. Hello, ladies. Salam Alaikum. Lovely, very good. Anyway, um, yeah. If you're gonna take a video of some ladies of the Islamic faith, you should wish the peace upon them, which is Salam. So uh, anyway, <laughs> the regal moon is today's Art Deco Weatherspoons uh, warehouse. Hello, sir, how are you? Yeah, this looks like a former aircraft hangar or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the best, see ya. Okay. So, uh, if you look up to the side of this brick wall here, they have a giant cock um, on the wall. 
Cockerel. It's a cockerel. Sorry. <laughs> the ladies forgive me. <laughs> Action! <laughs> All the best, guys. See you later. So, Bailey Street Quarter is uh, full of these nice flowers. Flowers with a moose loose about this hoose. But, uh, yeah, we're in 25 frames per second, Charlie. Slow down. Slow down, mate. And, uh... I want to go and find out a bit more about down there. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, Matt. It was okay. It's okay. You were, you were actually enhancing my shot. Thank you. All right. Whilst we're here, Rochdale Town Centre, PSPO, Public Spaces Prevention Order. It's good to get all the not allowed in one go. No charity collection, no biking, skating, no two people stood together, no listening to music in your car, no red wine. No making money and no uh, walking along on a banana. It's uh, good, good rules, guys, good rules. And we look up towards the kind of shopping center area. I'm getting uh, memories. I've been here before in a dream. I'm sure I've been to Rochdale before and I'm sure there used to be a shopping mall here, but now it looks like it's a, it's a charity shop. We'll explore. Three sheep on the rock. Rochi remains still dreaming. Sheep on the rock and uh, I was right behind me sorry ladies sorry behind me is the Rochdale exchange it's a very fine shopping mall I can see a see a beauty zone a costas it's all going on locals will know Crawshaw's butchers proud to have served since 1954 they used to have a couple of these I may you okay we used to have a couple of these in the Arndale Center in Manchester, I think. It was some other cheap meat lunch thing. It's all just fried meat. Nice and cheap. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound chicken thigh. So I'm at the top of uh, Rochdale. There's a PAG, Parents Against Grooming Charity. Survivors Matter. Well, I assume it's a charity. And uh, it's here. We're going to go back down the center, have a look at the town hall, have a look at the rest of this this uh, blessed place. Ten minutes ago it was raining. Okay, this bit's called The Walk. Around the back of Halifax House. We're going to check it out. We'll check it out. See what we see. Right, so we're at the park called The Butts, The Buttocks, and uh, behind me, sorry for the quick ghosting pan around, the blurry, blurry, blurry pan around, there's a very cheap market here in the main square in Rochers. I'm going to try something, you guys tell me, I'm going to try the built-in ND filter. Is that, has that actually worked? I don't know, is that any better? Maybe, maybe not. Fuck! Okay, we've got Heaven's Cocktail Bar, Malibu, you've got Hogarth's, and the back of that Weatherspoon we were looking at. And the lovely taxi guy, he was waiting for me to go, I've just given him the thumbs up. Very courteous taxi bro. we got Goose and Goose Man enjoying the little bit here. Now, where I'm stood, Look at that, just like in Stockport, they're like, we know people love the riverbank. We know open expanses of water heals the soul. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna concrete it all over. The people will love it, there you go. You see, not even the geese dare venture into the 400 meter underground zone. That'd be a good video actually, get some uh, snorkel on, wetsuit, get a little waterproof GoPro and go and explore under Rochdale and under Stockport. I just want to get down there and join my goose buddies. That's all I want to do. Now, Rochdale being a forward-thinking city with a very nice town hall, which we, yes, we will go and have a look. When they were designing that and building it in the 1800s, there was no way they could have had a beautiful English river running past their canal, sorry, their uh, town hall. So I'm glad they've covered it up. Sarcasm, sarcasm, sarcasm. The former post office, and it's now a bar. And uh, 
Just like the Manchester one, the Rochdale Town Hall is not allowed right now. They're renovating it. So screw the people that could only visit in the four years that they're renovating it. No, they can, they can just see the scaffolding and all the plastic. Um, I've been here before. I have gone in this building and uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's not get too pessimistic yet. We can't just be the, the sad channel. We should be the happy channel. So this bar, bar, restaurant, bar, the medicine tap. I thought it said public execution. It says public entrance, which is fine. You get your last beverage in there because next door, oh, it's the season where the adolescent pigeons are just running around and you can tell it's an adolescent pigeon because it has the pink nostrils and it looks quite young. So here you've got your, what is this? You got your courts and tribunal service. Tri Wait, you gotta be quiet, shh. There's a tribunal hearing in progress, look. Everyone quiet, quiet, super quiet. All right, this boy's a bit peely. Peely, peely, peely. All right, guys, this is the entrance of the town hall. Uh, here's the clock tower. It's like a mini Big Ben, isn't it? It's like Wee Ben or Medium Ben, uh, L Little Benjamin. You know what? I don't know if it's, uh, what's that? I'm getting a strong Bob Marley smell. A strong, uh, a strong Amsterdam coffee shop aroma coming from this town hall. I wonder if they've got a grow on in there. It's all the front. They've got a grow on, mate. So this is the main uh, square with the war memorials. Those are not actual flags. They're concrete made to look like flags and they've been painted. And this gentleman, it's nice to see his highlighter pen matches his jacket. He is using the bright orange highlighter pen. And uh, when he was stood there, the joke would have worked better, but he's over there now. Right. Wait a minute. Whoa, I almost didn't see you guys there with those jackets on. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> it's the cops. Oh, it's a police station. That's why it's the cops. It's a police station right next to Rochdale Memorial Gardens. Now, um, if I were a, a German royal family sitting in Windsor Castle and Buckingham Palace and I asked uh, two million uh, young British men to go and die for me, fighting my, uh, you know, the politicians from uh, the other side of the German family, I would also set up some uh, serious memorials. As well. Sorry, guy, I'm getting cynical. Sometimes men have to do what they have to do. I'm not going to bring politics into it. It's nice that there's a memorial garden here and it's a nice garden too. Greater Manchester Police, of course. Action! <laughs> it's a bit ugly, if I'm honest. It's a bit shite! Bravo 64, two CID officers coming in the front door right now. Over. They didn't take the bait. I know. Wait a minute, this one's got a weird camera on it. Wait. Look at that. It's parking enforcement. Looks crazy. I need a closer look. So this is uh, the Rochdale Borough Council parking enforcement. It's not just uh, parking, it's people parking on double yellow lines and bus stops and entrances to hospitals, things like that. And uh, yeah, nice big camera on top. Bigger than mine. The back of El Police Stazione says, welcome to Holm Car Park. Holm, Holm A. And, uh, to get to the upper bit, you gotta go over this uh, raised platform bit next to the river. Next to the river. And uh, yeah, now the river, the river and the bank of the river is gonna be my ticket to try and break into the town hall. By break in, I mean walk in. And by walk in, I mean enter legally, of course. Here in uh, Rochdale, they're really into the underground river business. So, um, where is it? It's underground. Going deeper underground. All right, no pedestrian access. H. H. Smith and Sons. I do like a, a family business, but um, they need to hurry up a bit. Ho look at this, Hole Masters. That's a, that's a dodgy name for a website. Hole Masters is going in. I guess they're here to drill, <laughs> to pound. Hello, how are you doing? 
Do you work for H.H. and Sons? Yeah, yeah. All right, my message to the bosses, they got to speed up, man. I'm a taxpayer, it's taking too long. No worries. I'm sure you guys are doing it as efficiently and as uh, properly as you can. But you know the town hall in Manchester is also under renovation, so there's no town halls to go to. No. There's only... Uh, yeah, you can make a picture properly. Yeah, no, I've got some nice shots. Um, but... Uh, you, you, you're making it official or just hobby? Um, both, official and a hobby. I, I, I make money off it, but it's... My, my viewers get angry at me when I call it my job. They say it's only a hobby, so, so it's a hobby. <laughs> All right, viewers, Broadfield Park was going to be... Sorry, ladies, one sec. Broadfield Park looks very nice, nice Victorian park. This was going to be... Thank you. This was going to be my uh, entrance into the town hall right there. But they've put big walls all the way up. It's like Glastonbury. I need a ladder. I need a step ladder. I need a shovel to dig under it. And that, that fence turns into metal fence up the top, so uh, we'll see. Not giving up just yet. Okay, to our left we have Rochdale Sixth Form College. Up ahead you've got some nice brutalist towers. To our right, the little grey box here, Hopwood Hall College. And behind it, some more tower blocks. So let's go and have a look. Here's the back of the police station and what an ugly rear end it is. We are stood at the telephone exchange on College Road in Rochers, and uh, everywhere you walk around Rochers, there's uh, flood defenses. I'm sure many of my viewers right now will say, oh yes, I, I have this exact model on my front gate in my garden to keep the water out. Now, as you can see, they are mobile. You can raise them, lower them, tighten them. They have a little bit of vice on top. And uh, who doesn't like a bit of vice? Uh, these fences certainly do. Now, the river, it's about two meters down that way right there river runs through it as we keep showing and uh the last thing british telecom and united utilities need is their uh telephone exchange basement flooded so not allowed sir water not allowed tower blocks are almost getting fashionable again uh seeing as uh manchester's building a lot of these 20 30 40 story buildings and of course, of course, it's BT Openreach, British Telecom. The plain clothes and undercover police stand out so much, don't they? They stand out like sore thumbs. It's always a Peugeot 308, a white one with four doors. Okay, I think Madison's restaurant has uh, madded its last son. Oh, the cops are back. They're, they're, they're tailing me. No, they're going into the police station. There's the entrance over there. It's all ogre for the Madisons. How about the front door? How about front door? How are you doing? It is, uh, it's done. That's how it's doing. It's done. I have a feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that this sign is slightly out of date. I don't even think there is a magistrate here in Rochoid. So much for the Magistrates Court. It's now, well, from what I can read from that banner, it says Golden Mosque, Zakat Sadaka, Ramadan Emergency Humanitarian Crisis in Somalia. And uh, yes, we were here a minute ago. It's of course the Rochdale Divisional Headquarters of the Police. And uh, this here is the former Magistrates Court. And I was just filming in there in the, in the Golden Mosque, it said. Dulce e decorum est pro patria mori. Okay, guys, I figured it out. Every single police vehicle has to come round this little bend because baby's got the bends. Oh no. Right about now with the Funk Soul Brothers. Right about now with the Funk Soul Brothers. Here in Rochdale, the job center is inside a shopping mall. Look at that. Okay, getting very strange vibes in Rochdale. I would say in the city center, right in the city center, I'd say 10% of the people walking around are crackheads. That's a, a per capita crackhead rate of 10%, which is pretty high. In fact, it might be the highest 
that I've seen in England. Wonder why they leave these uh, stickers up. I don't know. Looks like they they still believe in it. I don't. There you go. You can get close to each other again. All right. You guys like the play on words here? Heaven sent. Get it? Aroma sent. Scent of a woman. Al Pacino movie. Heaven sent. Ten points. Grapes Hotel, ask for scotch whiskey. Directly ahead, we've got an abandoned electricity substation with a collapsed in roof up there, we can see. And uh, the best bit is, is that the name of this street is called New Buildings Place. And the one building on it is Abando. You know it's serious when even the fire extinguisher is burnt out in a big fire in there. Anyone? Any crackies? Anyone? No? This is all that remains of my boy, St. Andrew, St. Andrew's Church. They knocked him down, and look what they've replaced my boy with. Look at that. You see, Great Britain has a problem with leisure centres and other local government initiative buildings. It's as if the government, the local government said, right, we've got a low budget, so we need a low budget architect. In fact, let's get a low morality architect. Let's get a scumbag, devil worshipping, upside down cross, weird architect and we'll ask him to design something that will lower men's souls and take them closer to hell. Like this building. Right, here it is. Oh, it's tailing me, the white four-door Peugeot 308. Yeah, 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 I know too much, uh, Rochdale coppers. Okay, ladies and gents, that, that, that is Rochdale Town Centre. Covered a few things, a few grumbles, a few potential not allowed, but mostly allowed. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the big satellite towns around Manchester, Bury, Wigan, Oldham, Rochdale, Bolton, Stockport, Salford even. They're all little beta orbiters orbiting the big alpha that is Manchester. So uh, hope you've enjoyed it. See you on the next one.